Here at six, investigators are working to determine what sparked a raging inferno that burned through golf carts of Vero Beach. Tonight, we're getting an inside look at the damage and how the community is now stepping in to help. News Channel 5's Ryan Hughes with the story, all new at six. Flames 20, 30 feet high. Smoke was just billowing out from all four doors. Plastic and rubber fueling the flames inside golf carts of Vero Beach. Owner Tim Burklew got the call around 8 Sunday morning. His livelihood was being destroyed by fire. I guess it could be worse. Somebody could have got hurt. I don't know. Tim choking back tears, now trying to comprehend how to move forward. We have close to 90 to 100 carts in here. Inside the shop, widespread devastation. Nuts and bolt boxes melted over. Six inch beams bowed. So the roof melts to the to the steering wheel. And some carts completely destroyed. With us being closed, we don't have the income to and the profit weekly to be able to pay for our staff. And that's, you know, we have 12 families that count on us to feed them every week. We're told investigators believe the fire started here near a charging station for lithium batteries, but the cause remains under investigation. Tim does have insurance, but not enough to cover the entire loss. We'll rectify everything to every single customer. There's a silver lining somewhere, and we'll find that silver lining someday. Not today, not tomorrow, but someday. Tim has been in business now for 20 years, six at this location. He tells me he plans to rebuild just likely somewhere else. A fundraising page has now been set up to help his employees. If you would like to help donate, we'll post the link on our website. In Vero Beach, Ryan Hughes, WPTV, News Channel 5.